Hi everyone, thanks for joining me here at Facebook Live. And I bow to each and every one of you during this really wild, squirrely time on this planet. And may we all know peace and the roots of peace. So what I'm going to share with you today is um, uh, some are some techniques from energy medicine, yoga and energy medicine. And uh, Donna Eden, who is the founder of energy medicine, she speaks of nine different subtle energy systems that are part of making up our physical well-being. And so what I'll share with you are some of those energy medicine, yoga, energy medicine techniques. And so we'll get started now. So taking your fingers together, find your clavicle bone or your collarbone and just drop down a little bit. And so this is called the energy medicine yoga wake up. And so we're going to tap right in there. Inhale through the nose and exhale out of the mouth. And tap pretty strongly. So that exhale out of the mouth help, helps to release any excess energy. This is the on switch for all of your subtle energy systems. We're wanting our energy to move forward and crossing over and that gives us vital, wonderful health. Drop one hand, come right in the center of the sternum. Inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. This awakens your immune system. So tapping pretty strongly, yet lovingly. So awakening those T cells. So those T cells are like the worker bees of our, our immune system. And what you're doing is saying, activate. Be aware of anything that's gonna come through your system. And take care of it. Inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. Take both hands, a couple of inches down from the armpits, on the ribs, and tap in there. You can massage in there too. If things are tender, that just means that there's energy that needs to move. You're just clearing those subtle energies. So this is the last point of the spleen meridian. The spleen is, the, is half of the immune system and it helps to digest all that comes through your body. So it could be emotional, it could be viral, it could be what you ate. And so just keep on working with that. It's a really, really important system. Inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. And just know that you can do this wake up every single day to help encourage ultimate health. Terrific. Two fingers right underneath the eyes on the cheekbones. It's a little bit gentler of a tap, but this helps to take all that squirrely mental energy and anchoring it right down to the earth. We're working with this stomach meridian. And the last point of the stomach meridian is down on the feet. Inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. Great, shake that off. Let's just come to quiet. And listening, turning your awareness to your inner landscape. Letting those cells just communicate with each other. Beautiful. And now we'll get our energy crossing over. So let's just reach up with that right arm and bring it down to the right leg. Left arm up, left leg two more times, reaching up down, up, inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. Great, and shake that off. Now we're going to cross over. So it could just simply be like this, crossing your hand to the opposite thigh, or big circles, moving from your waist, reaching that crown, inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. So when you do this, this helps to cross your energy over, just much like our DNA molecules, our brain has to cross over, it's crossing over in our heart and every single cell. 
So you can do this as long as you want. You can do this multiple times a day. And this helps to just boost your energy. If you start to feel a little depressed or maybe a little bit depleted, do a crossover. It's awesome. Excellent. And shake that off. Okay, hands in front of the pubic bone. They don't just need to hover in front. You can stack them on top of each other. Close your eyes for a moment and settle into an intention. Maybe just one word. Maybe it's love. Maybe it's health. Maybe it's uh, gratitude. We're going to zip that up. So just zipping or sweeping the hands up to the mouth flipping the hands and then spreading that out into your auric field. Exhaling out of the mouth two more times. So coming right out into the auric field, that's our spacesuit that helps to protect us and inform us. And one more time, inhale, exhale, out of the mouth. Let's lock that energy in. One finger in into the navel, one finger between the brow. Push in, pull up, inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. We're locking that energy in. So a lot of these techniques come from traditional Chinese medicine. So this helps to reestablish the microcosmic orbit. Great. And let's just shake that off. So let's just do a little bit of tapping into that long point. And you can do this like this or massage in here and just activate that. Just a little bit more encouragement for that long meridian to work. Terrific. And shake that off. So now what we're going to do is some neurolymphatic reflex massage points. So take your either hand to the opposite fleshy part underneath the armpit and just massage in there, squeeze in there. Any tenderness just means that energy needs to move. Great. You can inhale through the nose and exhale out of the mouth, releasing that energy. Come up to this upper corner of your chest and scrub in there. So this works with your heart and other really important meridians. They're all really important. <laughs> Great, let's come to the other side. So squeezing into that fleshy bit, excellent. And then scrubbing in there. Any tenderness just means that that needs to move. You can do this every day as well. So coming on either side with your fingers of your sternum, right between your ribs, and just scrub in there. So there might be tenderness there and your long neurolymphatic reflex points are in here, along with others. So just scrub in there, get that energy moving. Inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth if you wish to. Terrific. Great, let's come underneath the breast or underneath the, the pecs aligned with the nipples and just massage in between the ribs here. And so these are some points for releasing from the spleen. Excellent and just scrub away. <sighs> Terrific. The other points that I like for helping things move, because in order to be healthy, we need to have a healthy digestive system. So our uh, large intestine, small intestine, also our pericardium neurolymphatic reflex points, which is actually the protective sac around the heart, um, or in, in this thigh area. So on the side seam and inner seam of the leg. If you tend to have uh, soft stools, go from the knee to the hip, but otherwise go from the hip to the knee. And I'd like to bring my fingers like this and then press in as if you're trying to reach your bone and just press in there. It might be tender and that's okay. That means that there's cleansing needs, that needs to happen and do a couple of runs right down those seams. Press in, excellent. Let's do one more time. Awesome. Okay, 
and then just sweep whatever direction you went and shake that off. Let's do the other side. So press in. So keeping the lymph flowing through the body is really helpful for the immune system. All right, we're gonna do two more sweeps. Okay, press in. I'm telling you, if it hurts, that's okay. Just do it a little bit more. And we'll do it one more time and you can always revisit it tomorrow. Terrific, excellent and shake that off. So that's it for now. I'll be back again another time. And just letting you know that Yoga Synthesis has brought their, brought theirs. We have brought our classes online and um, you can access those classes through our website, www.yogasynthesis.com. And um, here's to empowered Namaste.